This is the sixth question of the C34 June 2014 exam. The first part is um, express 5 minus 4x over 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 in partial fractions. Now to do this, it's simple. Uh, we're going to write it down as 5 minus 4x divided by 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to a over 2x minus 1 or we can say that it's identical to a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1. Now we multiply both sides by 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 so we get 5 minus 4x on this side and a times x plus 1 plus b times 2x minus 1 on this side. Now we have to make each of these terms um, 0 one by one to find the other term. So we can make this one 0 and then we can make this one 0 to find a and b respectively. So what we do is we say that when x equals negative 1. Because when we say that x is negative 1, a, this entire, this term will be 0. Why? Because negative 1 plus 1 is 0, that's why. So 5 minus 4 times negative 1 will be 3. No, sorry, it's it's 9. Equals, this will be 0, so just b times 2 times negative 1 minus 1, so that will be negative 3. Negative 3b. Negative 3b. And therefore, b will be negative 3. Now to find a, we have to make this 0. And this we can do by saying that x equals half. So when x equals a half, 4 minus 4 time, 5 minus 4 times a half will be 3 equals a half plus 1 is 3 by 2, so it's 3 by 2a. And therefore, a is equal to 2. So we can ex uh, write this, uh, we can substitute the values of a and b here. That will give us 2 over 2x minus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1. That's this term expressed in partial fractions. That's how you express that. Now in the second, uh, in part b, they're asking us to find a general solution to the differential equation 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 dy dx equals 5 minus 4x times by y. To do this, to find, uh, to solve a differential equation, the first thing that we need to do is bring all the x terms on one side of the equation and bring all the y terms on one side of the equation. To do that, I will divide both sides of the equation by 2x minus 1 and I will also divide both sides of the equation by x plus 1 and by y. And I'll multiply both sides by dx. So when I do that, let me move on to the next slide. Yes, so for this one, after dividing by 2x minus, okay, so this will be 1, and I'll get 1 over y dy equals 5 minus 4x over 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 and dx because we multiply both equations, both sides of the equation by dx. Now we can see that we have all y terms on this side and all the x terms on, are on this side so we can just put the sign, integral sign here. Now integrating this with respect to y will give us natural log of y equals, now to integrate this we have to first express this in partial fractions and that we already did in part a so I can just copy that down so it'll be, I already put the equality sign, so it'll be 2 over 2x minus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1 with respect to x 
the natural log of y equals now for this term the denominator is 2x minus 1 and when we differentiate 2x minus 1 we get 2 and that's what the numerator is so we can simply write it down as the natural log of 2x minus 1 now for this one this term it's x plus 1 and when we differentiate x plus 1 we get just 1 and here we have 3 so we can express this as this one as 3 times 1 over x plus 1 so now the denominator is x plus 1 and the differential of this is 1 and that's what we got in the numerator and we can just take this 3 as a constant so for that we just write it down as negative 3 and then the uh, integral of 1 over x plus 1 will be natural log of x plus 1 x plus 1 yeah plus c now in this uh, part in the first part we just have to give the general solution we don't have to find c so I'm just going to simplify this a little further so that will help us in the next part natural log of y equals the natural log of 2x minus 1 minus the natural log of x plus 1 cubed because the power goes up if you know the rules of logs and when we have two logs in the same base and two log terms in the same base and we're subtracting them we just um, write them down as a division let me show you natural log of y equals so this will be the natural log of 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 cubed plus c and if this uh, was plus and not minus we would have just multiplied them so it would be 2x minus 1 times by x plus 1 cubed now this is the general solution moving on to the next part which is part 2 in this one they're asking us to find a particular solution and to find that they've also given us the point that given that y equals 4 when x equals 2 we're just gonna substitute these values into our general equation that will be the natural log of 4 equals the natural log of 2 times 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 cubed plus c and when we solve this we get c as the natural log of 36 now we can substitute the value of c back into the general equation that will give us the natural log of y equals the natural log of 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 cubed plus the natural log of 36 and in this question they also said that give your answer in the form y equals f of x so we have to make y the subject for that we have to anti-log this but in order to anti-log we should have only two terms um, in this equation here we have three terms so to make two terms what I'm going to do is the natural log of y equals here we're going to use the same rule as we used here for the subtraction now here because these two natural log terms are being added we multiply so we get the natural log of 36 times 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 cubed and now we can anti-log both sides and we get y equals 36 times 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 cubed you can um, expand this bracket and you'll get 72x minus 36 over x plus 1 cubed yep so I hope this makes sense and you understand whatever I explained and thank you so much for watching